The second reason that I want to mention Keith is that he was the first, well, more the first, in fact, he probably was the first friend that I made to this community, international friend. Um, we first met, again, in Boston, by instance, uh, when I was in my late 20s or, or early 30s, and we were great friends in, until his death. I don't want to be mawkish about this. The reason that I'm mentioning that is that he is a beautiful example of the gifts that this community affords us. So friendships, I think, are probably the most important, but we also have a shared vision, uh, a challenge, the excitement, and in particular, a responsibility. I don't think anyone could deny that this community has been in charge of and has been piloting a paradigm shift in systems neuroscience over the past decade or so. And we've done that together, and it has been a wonderful thing which we all owe each other. I know if you're a young person, it can be quite daunting considering your career in this field. Are you going to get published? Is anyone going to take any notice of you? Who is going to value you? Um, I think that everybody will value you ultimately. Uh, and I, I think it's worth reflecting that with the exception of your parents, the person sitting next to you probably cares about what you do and who you are more than anybody else in the world. And by that token, you are the only people that really care about the celebrations that we're currently enjoying and will continue to enjoy uh, for the next hour or so. Uh, so with that in mind, I want to thank you. I hope you have a wonderful meeting, and I hope that your career is as rewarding and complete as mine has been so far. Thank you very much indeed.